guys. Today, I'm in New York. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know every spring, summer, fall, winter, first drop, I usually go up to New York. I haven't been here for a spring, summer in February from almost a year. Last time I was here in February, it was like 11 hour wait. The cold, it was like 10 degrees, negative one with wind chill or something like that. It was freezing. I stood in line and just like stared at the back of some dude's head for 11 hours. Got like everything I pretty much wanted though. But after that, I said never wait in line again. But I went to uh, was it spring or fall, winter, August, I think last, this last August. Didn't get anything, so that was a bad taste in my mouth. But I wanted to come up here. Uh, I wanted to do something more this trip. I went up to Westchester County, which is like above like Bronx and Yonkers. Um, I drove up there, I drove you past like all that, I went to Bear Mountain, I wanted to see like the nature kind of stuff, like you know, like real northern stuff. Drove up there, drove to the city, it was it's real nice, and then uh, that was Wednesday, Thursday, yesterday, I went to the Brooklyn store for like the Supreme in-store drop. I didn't want to go to Lafayette, I didn't want to go to Soho. It's just, it's such a fuck fest over there, and I'm, I'm just sick of that store. Um, so I want to check out Brooklyn. I know Jeff Pang uh, kind of runs Brooklyn, he's like the coolest guy ever. I met him, talked to him for like a couple seconds, and he was a super fucking nice, like I expected, real skateboarder. So I was happy to go check out the Brooklyn store, but the whole lineup and everything over there, I felt like it was better, first come, first serve. Um, there was no registration this week, so I just, I just want to try out the new store. I kind of learned how the whole process is, where you have to wait, and what you can't do over in Brooklyn over there. Um, I was still was wondering, because I went at 6, I'll just explain the whole story, I went at 6 a.m., which is kind of late for a, like a first come, first serve. No one was there. I saw the bear kids down there, and so I was like, oh fuck, was it tickets? So I put out a Snapchat story, I'm like, is it first come or first serve? Well, we're gonna find out, and kids were like, oh, it's first come, first serve, and then a, more, a few other kids were like, it's not first come, first serve. It was first come, first serve. Stop spreading wrong information, you dumb fuck. Like, what's the matter with you? Jesus, you know? If I would've left, I would've got nothing. If I came to New York and got nothing, because these dumb fucks want to spread, like, misinformation. If you don't know, don't say anything, you know? Fuck out of here. So annoying. But, um... So I waited in the park at like six, security guard rolled up, you can't line up on the street where everyone, where the barricades are. He's like, get the fuck out of here, you can't line up right here. So we went to the park, waited, it was like probably like seven, and I saw more more kids. There was like three kids and more kids and more kids, and by like 10, it was like 80, 100 kids. So eventually we would line up, I was first in line by the way. I don't know if I'm proud of that or not, but it wasn't bad, 6 a.m., that's not. So we waited in line, they sent us over to the street, went in the barricades, I was first, somehow three people got in front of me, I don't know, it was like this marine girl and like her two like friends or some shit, maybe she knew someone in the store, whatever, top, top five, doesn't matter. So we went to the store, first in line, went in, I had my list all written, I gave it to Jeff Pang, I was like, what's up Jeff Pang, you're awesome, and he's like, cool, thanks, gave me a hug, he didn't do that. He was really cool, and then I gave him the list, and pretty much they had a huge restock. The only thing they didn't have was Illegal Business Controls America stuff, none of that. Um, and I think that was like pretty much it. They restocked on skulls and like everything. They didn't have any of the t-shirts, which I thought was weird. None, none of the t-shirts. First up, we'll do like the free gifts. Um, all I got, I still got the Supreme Box logo sticker and then the necklace sticker. That's all I got, two stickers. I should have said something like, can I get all the stickers? Or I just like tell them I kind of want them. I didn't. So I got those stickers. I grabbed the business card though, Supreme Brooklyn business card. It's the first one I ever got, so I took it. And then gave me the poppy seeds. I wonder what they're gonna think about this going on the plane. Like a check for that one. And then let's just go right into the big stuff, okay? The Skull Sweatpants. These glow in the dark. Um, I got these in a medium, they fit good. I work, I'm like a 30 inch waist. It's a sweat paint material, all over painted print, screen print. The, the bottoms are like a little frayed and stuff. But the thing about this, like, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that picture I posted wearing this shirt back in the day when 3-6 Mafia and I was all into that. So I thought it was just, like, kind of like a, you know, throwback to that, like, when it was 20, 2006 and all that shit when I was, like, a little skate rat and all that stuff. So I thought it was kind of cool. It was a throwback for me. So I got the pants. I'm gonna, I'm, I love these, these pants. I think they actually look pretty cool. Um, whole, I took a whole onesie picture. That was just a joke, okay? I'm just fucking with everyone. Like, I'm not gonna wear the whole onesie. So I guess you can tell what the second thing I got is, was I had to grab the hoodie. Skull, all over print hoodie. Green and black, it looks pretty cool. Embroidered Supreme right there, you'll never be able to see it. Doesn't fucking matter, it's there. And it glows in the dark. It's not like a super thick hoodie, it's not like heavyweight like the box logos. And all over, it says all over print, hood, everywhere. Fucking all over print. And it glows in the dark too. Um, 
I, I wore it yesterday and it like seemed like a little, when I went to see a movie, it seemed like it glue, glowed a little bit. Like not super crazy though, like pictures. And then we'll get into the other only like t-shirt shirt I got. I really wanted this one. I've been wanting another Oxford long sleeve for a while. And I, when I saw they did like three different patterns, it reminded me of like Comme des Garçons when they did that stuff. So I had to grab this one, long sleeve. This thing looks, it looks super cool and looks super like expensive somewhat, you know? But um, yeah, I think that was like 118 though. It was not too bad. Grabbed a over-dyed green beanie because I just want beanies that like fit better. I never wear beanies first off in Florida, but every time I get a beanie, they're just too big. So I wanted to grab one of these like, they kind of like made them like smaller so they don't like look huge over your head. Green, olive goes with everything. It's from Boxel right there, nothing crazy. And then the S cap I wanted this season. I just thought this was a simple, kind of cool S cap I'll wear a lot. It's just uh, outlined in white and then the black is felt. Canvas material, uh, like cotton canvas material. And then on the back, Supreme, like always, strap. And the strap says Supreme now, the little buckle there. It's pretty, so that's like a pretty, like, thing. that's something I'll wear a lot of. All right, now we'll get into the accessories. As you know, I used to be like the accessory guy, I guess you could say. Uh, moving around a lot, this is like, I don't need all this shit, I don't want all this shit. So I'm real selective with my accessories now. I didn't buy like the stacking cups and all like the random shit everyone wanted. I got the, something I didn't think I was gonna get, but I was there, I waited in line, so I got it. Supreme uh, Zippo. I had a Zippo before, it's like a brass one and I lost it. So I kinda wanted another one. I didn't really like that it was all red, so it's Supreme like all over it. I felt, I don't know if it was kind of like tacky or not, but I was there, I was like, fuck it, I think it was like $48. So I got the Supreme Zippo. This is something that I was like, do I really need this? But it's like, I'm there, and it's like something maybe I can use. It's like that Lumen Aid, uh, like, light. You blow it up, turns like into a square, and it lights up the place. Uh, it's solar, where you can plug it in and do it with the USB. I think it's pretty cool, you might be able to use it in some certain situations, but that's probably like the craziest accessory I got. And then, iffy on this one. This is the Justice Pendant. I used to get the pendants every single season. And then at that point in time, I was like, I don't really need a seahorse. I don't really need a heart pendant. Like, the only ones I've kept so far, I don't need the Playboy. I think it's, you know, it's kind of white trash. Um, the only ones I kept so far are the Gold Bar and the Uzi. I think those are classic. And I think this one's pretty classic too, the Justice. It's got like the little weights on it. Um, I don't know if I really like this as Justice, but it, it's, it's cool though. I like that circle. On the back just says Supreme 4K. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to get that. So I spent a lot with that necklace. That's like a 398, 398. But it was worth it. You know, last time I came here, I didn't get anything. You know, with the registration process and first come first serve, it was like fuck free, fuck fest 24 seven. So I'm happy to get all the stuff I got. And when I was putting everything away, I forgot I kept this in the closet, but this is probably like the best, you know, probably the top two thing I got, the Skulls deck. Um, this this board is probably one of the coolest boards they released like maybe ever because first off you got this all over Skull print which looks pretty crazy itself and you got Supreme down it then on the back you got the Skull print too Which is pretty uh, crazy. I don't remember the last time Supreme has kind of done like a print on both sides I really I don't know, Maybe it was the first time. I don't know. Someone will correct me. Go ahead and correct me. But yeah, it's both sides fully dipped black Supreme box logo down there yeah, this is probably one of my like favorite boards that I've uh, actually got. And, and then online, when I was leaving, I got out of the store at like 11.15. And I was like, fuck, I'm waiting for my lift, so I'll see what's online. So I went to this with the t-shirts, I, I got the cards in black, I got the Prodigy in black. Um, I think the Prodigy in black with the white screen print doesn't look as good as the, the white like screen print, or the black screen print. The black with the white doesn't look as good as you know, like just the black screen print on like a white shirt. So, but it's whatever, because I think all the other colors are kind of lame. I just would've got gray, but gray in the new sizing is just like super big, because it's not 100% cotton. So I couldn't go with gray. I'm not gonna wear orange or blue or any of that shit. So I'm happy with those two shirts. That's all I got online. If I can just get like a lot of stickers online, or most of them, I'll be happy. So I got everything I wanted, pretty much. The only thing I didn't get was the rugby polo in green, but after I spent this much, you know, I think it's okay. So that was my whole experience on Thursday. Real quick, security regulates everything real nicely. If you're playing games and doing all this bullshit, you're gonna get kicked out, they're gonna stop you. Um, the whole process was pretty good. Everyone that got there, when they got there, pretty much got in line at the same spot when they got there, because it's all like, sit in a park, and then you go across the street, and then you gotta line up. So it's like, it's not like a whole 
riot. It was somewhat regulated. Um, so it was pretty good. Said so thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Follow me at Mike.Kilroy on Instagram for more photos and up-to-date content. And uh, so I appreciate the support and I'll see you guys next time. For this.